apart from the printer profile, you can go to the profile management. On the profile management, you can select the printer profile. On printer profile, then you can select new on the down left corner. The pro it will open like this. Again, you can select that create new profile set then you can find like this then press next here you need to select the new measure and you need to select the you get the you need to give this one get the private details and we are using the bypass so i was selecting this one and press ok and this is the proper weight and everything that's still here and press next now i was using the uh, fd 5 gt m0 so i need to set the instrument here then i will take the output make two copies and uh, take the second one and press output great so now we will get the uh, patch like this and we need to read the same patch again so now again you need to press start before the build was coming so press start so again it will ask you to press it down so we are pressing down on the white reference and I'm pressing OK. So now I'm pressing down and we are doing some white calibration, white reference calibration. And you will see now, it's everything is fine. Now the, it will show you the I1 only while we are making the even FD 5 also. No issue, just you can press OK. Now once you get this sheet, then you can try. Uh, same like scanning again see uh, now i got this calibration sheet and we need to start from one and so i kept my scale at one and i was starting again While it's reading again, we need to press this switch. So while the reading line was completed, you will change that lines will give, but, uh, give the value for our day. So now all completed now. So I was pressing next. All the patches were completed. After completing the, all the patches, now pressing next. Then you need to select normally level 3 only all the time. So if you have select level 1, the black silicon will be minimum and the level 5 the black the full black maximum will be black so normally this made in uh, level 3 only is better there's a big theory over there why you are using that uh, level 3 ucr and gcr values if possible i will explain in the next uh, another video and press next and you can give any name so i can give this today name today's date 0407 press next so it was calculating all the values. So now calculation completed, then press next, finish. Now the profile which we are created now, so that is coming here. Now we can, the printer profile was completed. Now after the printer profile was completed, now this is the printer characteristics. This is how the printer will give the printout. But what we need, we need to have the print equal to the international standards. Like all the customers should have the same 
So if customer is printing any other machine also, it should have the same equal quality. So we need to make the color configuration. So for that, we need to go color configuration management and select new and it will ask some name. We can give any name. So I can give the same date again. 0407 and press next. So once you press next, it will select it here and we can press execute. You can have the execute here. You can press execute. So you will open the new screen. Now you can go to the create new profile set. Press next. Now we can use the selected one which we have already. No need to create. So you can go to the browse and go to the browse again. And if you go left down, once you open this window, go down, you can find the spawn common alta printer. There, this is the what we have created just now, right? So that one we can keep it and press OK. Finish. And here the target, this is the printer profile what we have created now, how the machine is printing. But now what we need, we need the ISO standard printout. So we need the color which is standard to the ISO. So we will select the device link profile as the ISO quoted, the ISO defined profile. So normally ISO quoted version V2 will be used, but normally ISO quoted swap version v2 is good uh, sap 5 version v2 or sap uh, crp5 so this one is the sap one is the coming good compared to the iso code version v2 up to your wish if you want to use the version v2 and you can use version v2 or if you quote it you can use the, uh, the swap you can use the swap normally i use the swap so i was keeping the swap then press next then the like the uh, mid tones all mid tones we can preserve so because we don't want all the all as the solids so we can give the preserve all the mid tones so we click on the all and in the saturation normally we can use the perceptual or the saturated the saturation will come more depth the perceptual will come more lively so it depend upon the customer if they want more colors and a little bit glossiness then we can use the saturation then you can press next Again, it will ask some profile name. We can give the same profile name, like what other profile you want to select. So, 0040723 saturation. If you want, we can make one more profile with the perceptual also. If customer which one is liking, so that we can give it to you. So, now it was calculating again. So, now it will calculate the values based on the, our printer profile. And now we can make one uh, feedback also like uh, now we are created the printer profile and we are assigned that profile with the ISO coded profile and we need to check how our machine was equivalent to the ISO coded printer like uh, it will give the star rating it should be the three star normally we will get the three star and delta E here also you will get the delta E value that should not be more than five normally that should not be more than three but as of now I was not finishing any feedback and I was just created the profile and I was pressing next if you want to get the feedback you get the result accurate results you can go for the feedback also finish so now the configuration was selected and that was created and this is the one what is the profile we are created now so that we need to register here so after that we need to press register so that is registered now so with the machine default we will get these three and now we are created as a new configuration so that we can make it as the default actually default iso code is the default as of now and now we are making the the one which we are created that we are making as the default now we can go to the printer driver and acquire the printer then we can get this one same the color defaults also we can check once uh, saturation only here also we can have one more option if you want to saturation you can use the saturation or if you want perceptible you can use the perceptible depend upon the customer depend upon the print we can use uh, this is the same like a printer and I'm making off if it is the RGB like photo segment I will make it off and the printer profile I can select the one which I was self created right now and optional settings everything was fine and we can keep this RGB simulation on to make the cmyk and rgb files come good 
and we can register this now we can ask the customer to acquire the print again and we can try to print the same and we will all the applies and it will come out